Welcome back here to Most Buffalo. Patrick Kaler from Visit Buffalo Niagara once again joins me because, of course, it is Friday. We're going to look at uh, all of the things that are happening here in western New York this region or this weekend in the region. And we're going to start with, you know, the, the girl from the Lower East Side who was told she wasn't going to make it big, but now she is. She is. And uh, we've got five more performances. And Anthony Chase, our local theater guru, says, you know, run. Don't walk. <laughs> this is the show to see. So I'm going to be running to the theater tonight, actually. So. Yeah. Uh, but this is a, a great, you know, a classic musical theater show right on the st uh, stage here at Shays. There are still some tickets available because this is a pretty popular show. So the excitement is there for this one. Yeah, I've heard a lot of my friends talking about Funny Girl either wanting to get tickets yeah. or they didn't get them in time. So yeah, definitely. Uh, scope it out to see what's yeah, left out there. Exactly. Well, so enjoy. Yeah, enjoy yourself I'm later. Gonna, you have to let you. us know next week how how it turned out. Absolutely. All right. So from from the theater to a little whiskey. Are you a whiskey person? I am. Okay. I'm a sipper. Okay. So, but this is a big deal. So yeah. there are going to be hundreds of samples. Pace yourself. Pace yourself. <laughs> maybe take an Uber or a Lyft or a designated driver uh, because this is a big deal. Tonight and tomorrow at the Powerhouse. Again, a really cool uh, venue here in Buffalo. Uh, but it's a festival of whiskey. So like I said, over uh, 100 samplings. They've got some seminars, uh, great uh, conversations with uh, makers, distillers. So it's a, you know, an adult type of an activity as well. So uh, and it'll probably warm you up on the inside too. Yeah, I was reading uh, on their website. They gave some helpful tips. They said use the uh, the spittoon. Yep. Pace yourself because exactly. again, there's a lot of tastings. And they said uh, have a nice hearty meal beforehand. Yeah. <laughs> have a little base. <laughs> a little base. <laughs> you need a little base before you go in there and start <laughs> sipping whiskey. Uh, you know, whether you take it straight up or on the rocks, maybe ice is your thing. And if it's that's really right. your thing. Canal side is the place to be. It is the place to be this weekend because Mother Nature is actually cooperating for, for an actual winter activity. So Saturday and Sunday we have Ice Fest. Uh, there's going to be curling. There's going to be all kinds of great things. Uh, live DJ, uh, carving demos. So uh, and this is actually the last weekend for ice at Canal side. Oh. So get out there and enjoy it while we can. It goes quick. It really does. The season gets shorter and shorter because last weekend it was 60 degrees. I know and then it's going to be what in the 40s next. <laughs> Next week. So again, take advantage this weekend. Absolutely. Also, we're uh, we're easing ourselves into President's Day weekend. Right. A lot of folks have next week off, but the Buffalo History Museum yeah. has a little honest Abe for yeah. us. So uh, Lauren was at the uh, museum early this morning doing a great story on it. Yeah. But here's a fun fact. Buffalo has the longest running uh, Lincoln birthday celebration in the nation. There we go. So we've got a lot of history with Abraham Lincoln. And so this is a great opportunity to celebrate have some birthday cake as well. This is taking place on Sunday, uh, but they're going to have some uh, uh, conversations as well with the uh, Fife and Drum Corps. Um, but again, you know, a great celebration of one of our country's finest presidents. Yeah, and finally, we're going to celebrate uh, the weekend, raising our glass with a little mocktail exactly. this weekend and a little competition. That's right. So uh, Wax Light and the Black Rock neighborhood. Uh, and again, this is one of those, uh, one of our uh, James Beard nominated uh, uh, restaurants, but they've been nominated for their uh, craft cocktails. But this has several different bartenders that will be uh, making up some uh, mocktails, if you will, and uh, having a little competition. So there'll be food, some entertainment, and just a, another way to get out and enjoy our community and uh, really support one of our small businesses and one that's really, you know, rising some notoriety in our community. Yeah, small business making a big name for themselves. Yeah. And some of those mocktails are really delicious. Oh, they too. really are. Yeah. yeah. Well, after having all that whiskey, this will be a nice palate. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. The hearty meal, the whiskey, then the mocktail to wash it all down. Yeah. All right. Of course, if anyone wants more information on any of these events or some others, where do they find it? They go to visitbuffaloniagara.com and follow us on all of the social media platforms, Visit Buffalo Niagara. All right, Patrick Kaler with Visit Buffalo Niagara. Always a pleasure to have you on. You've always got a great list of things. Hey, go enjoy that show. I'm going to. Have all a good right. weekend. And we'll see you next week. Yeah. All right.